how to survive the newborn stage. That is today's issue for a special edition of Paano ba to? I got the questions you sent in and I will try my very best to answer them. Our first question is from Jan Wonders and she asks, what are the newborn essentials we shouldn't live without? So now that I am a mom for the second time around, I realized that for a newborn, they usually give you this whole list na kunyari kailangan mo. But really, all you need is one, your boob or however you plan to feed your baby, basta fed is best. You need your personal choice of bath or skin products that you want to use on your baby. For me, of course, it has been Johnson's and I'm linking to the description box a few videos that I made actually in the past about bath time essentials. Look at you! Playtime essentials. Yeah. And pasal time essentials. It's another day for pasal. Next on your list is diapers, whether you go disposable or cloth diapers. Next is lampin. You can have so many lampins talaga because you'll use that for burping, for putting to sleep, as blankets, pang sabin, and all that. And for clothes, I would say feel free to use kahit 80% hand-me-down clothes because they outgrow it so fast and pinaka sulit. Next question is from Anna Almira and Bea Kapili. They both ask about sleep training or how to put a baby to sleep. With my firstborn Lucia, she was still waking up every two to three hours. Halo still nine months old na siya. But with my second born, Carmen, I couldn't believe that at two months old, she was already sleeping as long as six to eight hours. I know every baby is different, but what has helped me in with both my kids is a nighttime routine. So with Lucia, my firstborn, I sort of was medyo praning. So every time she would sleep, it would have to be dark, in a cold room, no noise. So much so na until lumaki siya, ang hirap niya patulugin in other conditions. So with Carmen, my secondborn, I made sure that kaya niya matulog in any condition. So kahit sa labas, kahit mainit, uh, kayang-kaya niya matulog. So at around 6 p.m. every day when she comes home from the park, uh, we give her a bath and then a massage. I latch her to sleep or she takes a bottle of my breast milk and then she goes to sleep with like a lullaby on. Just to help that calming effect, I also like using the bedtime bath wash, the violet one for Carmen. Question number three is from Triza Menel. Finding the best baby bath soap that is safe for a newborn baby. When Lucia was born, I used the classic Johnson's Top to Toe Wash, which is mild, effective, and I love the No More Tears formula patented to Johnson's. And then after after is the classic pink baby lotion. Then when she got a little bit older, we switched to the milk and rice series, which I love because it's extra moisturizing. Now for drier skin, you can use the milk and oats series. And when Carmen was born, we used the new Johnson's Cotton Touch. From day one, we used it because it's super hypoallergenic and super safe for newborn sensitive skin. Till she was three months old, six months old, then until now, na she's 10 months old, you know, it's super Super bango. Even the lotion is really light on the skin, not sticky. I super absolutely love Cotton Touch. But I feel that naturally yun yung naging choice ko because when I was growing up, my mom used it on me. My mom knows best, so I used it on my kids also. Last year, I was so lucky I learned about the all new Johnsons, and I'm excited that I can finally share that with you, mommies. So the first thing you notice, of course, is the new bottle. So it doesn't just look better. All the little changes, it means something. So the bottle is now transparent, see-through siya, and that actually means it's free of the four nasties. Yun yung no parabens, phthalates, dyes, or sulfates. No dyes meaning the product is now clear. Wala nang color yung mismong product, and the color is actually only on the bottle. And then the shape of the bottle, it's a big Johnson's teardrop. This actually makes the bottle, they call it ergonomic, so even with one hand, you can easily pump out the product from the bottle and there are all these changes but it still has that classic scent that we all love so that's what I love about it also fourth question is from little girl breastfeeding tips and how to successfully breastfeed with my firstborn I luckily was able to breastfeed her for two years until she weaned herself and it was actually such a struggle because I had low milk supply with her so far it has been an easier journey with Carmen and I think also because I kind of know better now. My top tip would really be to eat well. 
and take supplements if needed. I know it's hard to properly eat meals and on time as a mom because we're busy with the baby, but it's really so important because that's what helps us produce our milk. And drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. That's super important. The more we direct latch our baby, the more our bodies will be signaled to produce more milk. Another important tip is to really believe that you have milk. Like you just visualize na meron and have that relaxed state of mind. Because I noticed that the more that you worry if your milk supply is okay, dun talaga mas kumukonti yung milk supply. So a lot of it is in the mind. So hopefully those tips help you as they have helped me. And fifth and final question is from Anna Lorraine Yu. She asks, how to survive the first few weeks with your newborn? First few months yun talaga yung pinaka nakakabaliw. I realized in the almost four years that I've been a mom to two girls now that the best tip I can really give to other moms is to be kind to yourself. I know as moms, lalo na pag first time mom, we can be super hard on ourselves. So yeah, always choose gentle. Always be kind to yourself because we're all doing our best. Another learning is that every mother is different and every child is different. Ibig sabihin, kung yung kaibigan mong mommy, this is what she's doing, doesn't mean you have to do it as well. Or just because yung anak ni Ganto is reaching this milestone already and yours isn't, that you're doing a bad job, no. Um, kanya-kanya tayo ng pace and our kids also have their own pace. Lastly is to not be afraid to ask for help. Always have a support group that is a text message away that really helps keep the sanity. So that's it. These are just a few things that have helped me in my motherhood journey that I hope will help you as well. And uh, we are all in this together and kaya natin to. Hi. 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 the best. And before I say goodnight, I would like to invite you on September 28th, that's a Saturday at 1.30pm onwards. Please come to Watson's and SM Supermarket in Mega Mall because I'll be sharing with you all about the all-new Johnson's. And when you buy the new Johnson's products worth 150 minimum, you get this free cloud pillow and this bedtime book. Hope to see you there! Good night. <laughs>